What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today we're going to be going over ticker symbol AMC. It hit an all-time high in the pre-market today of $77.26 and then we saw an intraday low of $37.66 and really this is just going to give us an idea of the volatility that we can see from the stock moving forward in my personal opinion. We did have a high of $68.80 intraday during the trading hours which is definitely good for the stock but today we'll cover the short interest we'll cover the charts and then we'll cover a whole bunch of other things too but do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button make sure that you ring that bell for the youtube algorithm it really does help me out a lot and it really helps get this video out to more and more apes now taking a look here at the chart in we had that all-time high here at 77 dollars and 26 cents absolutely disgusting and a huge thing of why we dropped so much today was the combination of shorts we definitely did have some paper handing and then on top of it we had an article come out today about the 11.5 million share dilution and i really want to address this this 11.5 million shares eventually had to be used because we knew that amc had 63 million shares to essentially dilute 45 no, 43 million of them were done back at $9.94. We saw them give 8.5 million to Mudrick, my bad, Fudrick, and then 11.5 million today were done at the money. And the thing that we can take a look at here is we can see with an AMC that this offering raised $587.4 million to for them. They've previously raised $658.5 million of equity already. And this is totally $1.246 billion. Now we know from the earnings call that they also had a billion dollars already as cash on hand. So AMC is sitting on about $2.246 billion. They have about $6 billion in debt. That's pretty darn good for a company if you ask me. Now, this is the reason why we saw this huge drop here in the morning. And I really want to point out this article when they said that it was completed was at 1 p.m. And we were trading around $50 and we shot up to our intraday high of $68.80. And then we ultimately saw us close at $51.34. Now, hey, guys, we were up 100% yesterday. We are up a disgusting amount on the week. And if you go all the way back to last week, we are up even more. The fact that we're giving up 25-ish percent, give or take, that we had a 100% day yesterday, perfectly fine in my opinion. It's actually rather healthy for the stock. I just really want to see us start consolidating around this point. And what it'll do is it'll allow the stock to consolidate drop implied volatility down, drop vacant down, and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, we may not drop, in my personal opinion. We might just continue this volatility. And the thing that I want to point out to you guys is this tweet by Joshua, Joshua James. And it shows the volatility that GameStop experienced leading into the squeeze back in January. And we all remember the squeeze day. High of $483.00 a low of $112. That is a huge swing, guys. You got to keep that in mind. So really, that swing is what we're going to probably start seeing with AMC. And that is incredibly huge. Like, we have to prepare for the volatility, in my personal opinion. And it is going to be a lot. It's going to be up. It is going to be down. And the down parts, we got to take the opportunity. And this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And in and, I never offer financial advice, nor am I ever a financial advisor, but I always buy the dip because I know this stock is worth a lot more. And what was amazing is we had a great dip buying opportunity here at $37, $38, and then the shares are worth $68 and they're still worth $51 now. That is absolutely filthy. The shorts are running out of bullets they're absolutely running out of bullets and i really want to hammer this home because we need to talk about these two articles before we go into the short interest really and that's talking about prime brokers and how short positions really are established and with a short position i have to go to a prime broker and say hey i want to be able to short the stock and they're going to say okay well the cost of borrow fee is x kind of thing give me the cost of borrow fee plus a deposit and all that kind of stuff and i'll give you the short shares kind of thing and it's like okay well here's all this i get the short shares brokers now are starting to say 
certain stocks, no, we don't want anything to do with it. Raymond James halts AMC shorts. Raymond James has banned shorting of AMC and also has blocked buying of the theater chain on margin because it is incredibly risky because the stock is going to fluctuate so much. These brokers are practicing good risk management and are saying, we don't want the huge risk. And this is actually going to help out the longs a lot because if the shorts have to go to a prime broker, we are just going to buy the stock and say, okay, well, I just have to buy it with cash. Fine. No big deal to me. No big deal to me. I'll buy it with cash. I have no problem doing that. A short is going to go and say, well, you guys aren't offering. Well, who is offering it? And it might get to that point that all the brokers might say, we don't want anything to do with shorts on these certain stocks. And Raymond James is one of them. Jeffries also is another one of them. Jeffries told clients on Wednesday its prime broker arm will no longer allow the execution of short sales in GameStop, AMC, and Microvision. And it's huge. They're saying no. Any shorts who want to come to us and say we want to establish a short position in these stocks, no. We are not going to do it because it is bad risk management for us. It is very risky and we don't want any problems if it goes south for you guys. Until further notice, Jeffrey's Prime Broker will no longer offer custody on naked options in GME, AMC, and MVIM, MVIS, the memo noted. The firm will no longer allow the execution of short sales of those securities. The memo continued noting that other stocks may be added to that list. Bombshell guys, hello, that is a big deal that we're starting to see brokers say this is way too risky we don't want anything to do with that big deal they're starting to see the writing on the wall we already know the writing on the wall it's only a matter of time before the shorts say the writing's on the wall we need to cover now jumping in here to ortex we did see a negative short interest change today of 1.83 percent we saw that there was a net borrow change to the downside of 2.53 million shares we saw 9.05 million shares returned and the borrowed shares was at 6.52 million. Our current short interest of free float is sitting at 17.56%, which is still considered heavily shorted in my personal opinion. Current short interest, 87.74 million shares and our shares on loan are at 138.82 million. Shares on loan are still continuing to increase. And the next thing that we're going to start seeing is if short share, if shorts are having limited options prime brokers may start jacking up this cost to borrow fee to be like we're the only one offering it so you got to pay let's say like 40 percent through us because raymond james isn't offering it jeffries isn't offering it like what is going to happen is going to be very interesting with this because this could be huge for the stock and absolutely huge for the squeeze in my personal opinion the other thing that we need to take a look at here is Stonko Tracker. 231,979 calls currently in the money. Another 24,739 will be put in the money at $55. We see that there's about a million shares of AMC that are available to borrow at a 19.8% fee. 35,984 short ETFs that are available. And I'm not surprised if we saw short ETFs plus short shares plus a whole crap ton in the kitchen sink thrown at the stock today because they pushed it down from that all-time high of $77.26 all the way down to $37, which was crazy and provided that great dip buying opportunity. And we just printed just absolute tendies after tendies after tendies. And the other thing I want to leave you guys with that we're going to talk about is once again, this volatility chart, just save it. I'm putting it down in the description of this video. I'm also going to put Trey's interview with CEO Adam Aaron down in the description of this. And lastly, we got to talk about the 14A that AMC filed today, talking about their annual shareholder meeting. And in Trey Trade's interview, CEO Adam Aaron did mention that AMC has no longer has no more shares that they can dilute essentially which is a huge deal because Adam Aaron sees shares available as essentially a good way to say, okay, well, we have this great opportunity coming up to like acquire a bunch of movie chains kind of thing. We don't have any shares available. Well, we can't really do that kind of thing. Like 
it doesn't provide them that opportunity. That's how Adam Aaron views really shares is that it is a good time to take advantage of a good opportunity for improving the company as a whole, improving the position of shareholders by saying, hey, we have to dilute the stock a little bit, but we're going to be adding 15, 20, 30 movie theaters kind of thing, which is going to better the business overall as a whole, which is definitely a very smart form of dilution in my personal opinion. Now, guys, really, I just want to leave you guys with this. We're going to be on a rocky road. We're going to see a lot of FUD. We've gone through a lot of FUD. And if you guys need anything to just remind you of how far we've come, zoom out on the chart. Zoom out on the chart. Literally in April, we were trading around $9, $10. Now we are trading at five times that value of $51.34. That is crazy to even think about. It's even crazier to think about that we had an intraday high yesterday of $72.62. Absolutely crazy. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.